I'm Chris Moxon. I'm a paediatrician and a clinical senior lecturer at the Wellcome Centre for Integrative Parasitology at the University of Glasgow. My lab works on cerebral malaria, the most severe complication of malaria. Cerebral malaria kills by causing blood vessels in the brain to become leaky. It causes coma and seizures. It's responsible for the vast majority of the half million malaria deaths each year. To find the best treatments to stop the swelling, we need to understand at a cellular level how the parasite causes the blood vessels in the brain to become leaky. In Malawi, we're using single cell sequencing and multi-parameter flow cytometry to investigate the host parasite interactions that underpin the disease directly in patient samples. Malawi is also a fantastic place to work with extremely friendly people and beautiful scenery. In Glasgow, we're using a cell culture model and a large biobank of post-mortem tissue from cerebral malaria cases to enable advanced imaging modalities to examine the host parasite interactions in blood vessels in the brain. Now, I'd like you to meet the team that's making this happen. Hi, I'm Harlan Posantipa. I'm a veterinary pathologist and a Wellcome Trust Clinical PhD Fellow at the Moxon's Laboratory. My main research interest is to understand the role of neutrophils, which is a type of white blood cell in the pathogenesis of cerebral malaria. Being part of the Moxon's group, it gave me the opportunity to work in both Glasgow as well as in Malawi, in the warm heart of Africa, in a really exciting and fascinating research area, such as cerebral malaria. But most importantly, it gave me the opportunity to collaborate and work with excellent scientists that are passionate about their work and willing to sacrifice some of their time in order for us to become better scientists. Hello, my name is Wajibenga Nyasuru. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful, so I prefer being called YD. I'm an intern working with Stella Lampos. I do microscopy, flow cytometry, and uh, it's vivo necrosis assays. This work should be done in Malawi because it gives us a chance to work on samples from actual Marelia patients, even for cells that can be difficult, such as neutrophils. And malaria is one of the leading causes of death among children in my country, and being a part of the solution is just amazing. My name is Togozi Dengulue, and I'm a research intern. I am working on the characterization of neutrophils in Malawian children with cerebral malaria. There is evidence that they may play a role, but they have been difficult to study as they are unstable and do not survive freezing. Being part of the amazing group gives the opportunity to work in both Glasgow and Malawi on a fascinating and important scientific area. But most importantly, it has given me the opportunity to work in a group with highly motivated and enthusiastic people that are willing to dedicate time to me in order to become a better scientist. My name is Frolak Lakeson. I'm working in Moxon's lab. I'm working on the immunopathogenesis of cerebral malaria in order to examine the causes of blood-brain barrier dysfunction so that we can successfully treat the conditions. I also work on post-mortem samples. The brain is inaccessible during life, so to look at it directly, there is a need to access tissue which we analyze by flow cytometry as well as sequencing. It's really amazing to gain experience on how to investigate tissues from patients with severe disease using such high dimensional techniques. My name is Charles Lovi and I work as a research associate in the Moxon lab. My main role is doing cell partitioning and library preparation for single cell RNA sequencing to explore the dynamic interactions between host and parasite and to examine in detail the highly variable but potentially critical host and parasite cell expression changes that occur in patients. I find this work exciting because it gives me the opportunity to work on novel and highly advanced techniques which are relatively new in the research world. We should do this research in Malawi because despite much effort, Malawi still has the fifth highest number of severe malaria cases in Southern Africa. And even with very good health care, 
the mortality rate due to complicated malaria can go as high as 15%. Hi, I'm Declara Martinez, a senior postdoctoral researcher in the Moxon lab. I'm based mainly in Glasgow, and my work is principally focused on investigating factors released from the parasite, including extracellular histones, and how this modulate the permeability and functional roles of endothelial cells in the blood-brain barrier. This research uses cutting-edge research techniques. This produces exciting results, which shed light on the dysfunctional host responses induced by parasites and provides potential new avenues for therapeutics. We should do this in Glasgow, because here we have world-class facilities and particular strengths in parasitology research. This is the best environment to conduct this exciting, innovative and cutting-edge research. With this great team and the links between Glasgow and Malawi, we're using cutting-edge techniques to investigate this important disease in patient samples. We think we've got exciting times ahead.